Hey guys, so welcome to Own Your Money with Malipedi M. I am Malipedi M, but first of all, today I do not have electricity. So you're going to see some shadows because there's no light. I'm only using my phone and the ring light, okay? <laughs> so please forgive me, but the show must go on because we need to talk about these things and like we can't just let Uncle Escom disturb us, okay? Or stop us. We are about that money, that catching okay yes so in the previous video we talked about shares and how you can invest what are shares and how you can invest in shares and how shares uh, make you money right but today we're going to talk about another form of investment which is mutual funds remember we're still talking about uh pay yourself first and how your money can actually work for you and your money can work for you when you invest it i mean you are sleeping and it your money is making you money, more money. You're happy when you are gaining profits while you are asleep. When you dedicate some amount of money to making you money while you are not personally involved. While you are not personally at the point, at the place where this money is making you money, right? So remember, we're talking about investing now. We talked about what investing is. We talked about the modes of investment. And we're now talking about those platforms where you can invest. The previous video, like I said, we spoke about shares, um, how you can invest in shares and where you can invest. I personally use Easy Equities and I use the JSE. So today we're talking about mutual funds. What are mutual funds, right? So mutual funds is when an investment company pulls investors into this fund to invest in, right? So they're like, we are creating this investment fund. We need people, me and you, who are investors to invest in it so they collect our money the, the 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 investment company would collect our money to invest into this portfolio that they have put together and then from our money with that money of ours they take it now and they invest it um in that in in those companies for example a mutual fund is something like this okay it's like a basket so the investment company would now call us me and you as investors to invest into this basket and in this basket they already have companies that they're going to invest in so basically they would have say um, mr price vodacom mtn and another one like a mining company or anything they would basically have that and then they say invest in this portfolio okay so you and other people who have the similar objective for your money you would now say yes i want to invest in this uh fund so mutual funds then they the the company that you are using to invest in that mutual fund then they they would now um invest in invest that money in stocks or in long term date or short term date and they would also invest it in bonds okay so your money is growing in that way so they for this fund they have a manager you have a portfolio manager or a fund a mutual fund manager so obviously that is going to cost you because now you must pay this person the person who's actually making sure that your money is growing perfectly that your money uh they they study these things the, the, a, an investment um company knows better than you and i i mean we are just laymen we just want our money to to actually go further and make us more money but they went to school for this they study markets they study companies they study the growth of the company they study everything that goes into the company they know what is going to happen well um in as far as they can predict that's that's what they know and then they're like okay let's put a fund where people can actually invest in so one of the normal things that um we know as a mutual fund would be your retirement annuity remember with your retirement annuity you give it to say um what old mutual or outsurance or any other thing psg 
whatever company that is so you contribute towards a retirement company towards a retirement annuity with that company and then they then start investing your money into other companies because now this is a mutual fund this is um what the investors want from this is a specific fund basically people who want to retire at the age of 55 would now have their own um mutual fund so they know okay these people want to retire at the age of 55 so we put this basket together this basket nyana together and they invest in this so when they retire at 55 then they can get their money you see what i'm saying so another example would be um remember when steinhoff shares took a dive a lot of people's um, retirement annuities were shaken and they lost a couple of thousands there because um the the companies that were providing them retirement annuity they in, had invested with steinhoff so i know with me they told me that they're investing with um i think four companies they're buying four different shares from four different companies with my retirement annuity that helps you with diversification so let's say one company takes a dive but the other one takes you know it spikes the the, the shares are spiking then it balances the whole thing out so you have kinds of mutual funds you have the growth mutual fund you have um the equity mutual fund and then you have the balanced out mutual fund so what we're saying basically is that mutual funds are not very risky but the growth mutual fund is sort of risky because that's when it's risk aggressive that's when you want your money to really grow and so because you want high growth you are going to experience high risk okay and then the equity um and the balanced um funds they're very they they make you money in a very long time because they are not that much risky but any investment is risky in any case so for this mutual funds you would not be able to invest it yourself you'd actually need to consult with um a company that provides this fund or a a, a stock broker who can actually now direct you into the people who actually study this they will now direct you into which company to invest in in terms of mutual funds okay so with me when i was doing my retirement fund i did it myself i called i called alan gray i was here i was calling i was calling alan gray i was calling old mutual i was calling discovery i was calling hey listen i was calling out insurance i called each and everyone in order for me to actually access assess um the the growth that they actually promising me and the fees guys fees are very important you know why you pay fees with mutual funds you pay fees because there is a portfolio manager a mutual fund manager so you have to pay them at the end or even every month you have to pay them a fee it's an administration fee those people are taking care of your money the same way you're paying bank account fees you're going to pay um the mutual fund manager the or that company that is actually administering your investment right so even um you know with the retirement annuity at the end when you are now cashing out your money they are actually going to charge you fees so you need to compare fees you need to be very careful with fees because you don't want to invest all this money for all these years and then come out with nothing because they have taken their money and 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 the fees are like ridiculous okay so um mutual funds are better in that they diversify your investment so um there's low risk of you losing your money and then they also um are very liquid so you can cash out your money i mean almost any time <laughs> i mean if you want to catch out your, your retirement annuity you can do it you know what i'm saying so um but they will charge you they will charge you penalties they will charge you this they will charge you that eventually you're going to be like you know what i should have just left that money in there so that is a mutual fund guys basically it's a fund that me and you we invest in 
because we have a similar goal. Maybe our our goal is retirement or our goal is that after 20 years, we get this money or after 10 years, we get our money back and stuff like that. So it's, it's a pool of people with a common goal who are investing in this portfolio. So the portfolio is selected by the, um, the company that you're going to invest through. You're not investing with them. You're investing through them because they now take your money and invest into those companies that they have put into their basket okay now they're like okay we're investing in this and we're expecting that in 10 years time this would actually provide the investors with proper gains or with dividends or whatever um roi you are expecting so i hope we now know what mutual funds are and you Remember that my videos are not financial advice. If you want to invest with the mutual fund, you need to actually go and do your own research and call companies and hear what they have to offer and then um, speak to financial advisors about which fund is better for your goals. Because in, remember, investing goes hand in hand with your goals, what you want to achieve, right? I hope this helps you out and if you like the video subscribe on the youtube channel like on the facebook page and then we will see you next time hopefully with electricity and better lighting hey and better sound bye